Of these days, we're all glued to our smartphones from the time we wake up to when we go to sleep. But what if in the new year you adopted a resolution to put your health before your screen time? CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is getting answers on why using your phone before bed hurts more than your sleep. And after you watch us, if you're watching us on your device, you might want to power down those devices. It's something we all do, the mindless scroll on our phones to wind down at bedtime. But how mindless is it really? I asked neurologist Dr. Judy Ho. What's going on in your brain? You know, are you actually starting to fall asleep or is it kind of quite the opposite? What you're telling your mind is pay attention, be engaged. And when you do that, your mind is not going to go to sleep. Active screen time, where you're scrolling or communicating, overstimulates the brain. So smartphone use before bed keeps you awake and can be linked to high stress and depressive symptoms. You may still fall asleep because you're just so exhausted, but then that sleep is not restful and you're more likely to get interrupted sleep. In fact, how you sleep is more important than how many hours you get. Dr. Anissa Das specializes in sleep medicine. She told CBS News, that light itself impacts your quality of rest. We want bright light in the morning, which helps amplify our circadian drive, and then we want to decrease the amount of light we get in the evening. And that includes your phone. When you turn the lights off, your body knows it's time to go to sleep. But the blue light from your phone mimics daylight, which can keep you awake as you keep scrolling. I would find myself just staying up until... Yeah, like 1 to 3 a.m. Just watching these videos, and I'd go to sleep with the phone on. Cole Fiddleman is a high school senior. The California native is an advocate and published author on how to use social media the right way. I could not stop using it because I was using it as more of an escape, just like any other drug. He decided to make a change, ditching all smartphone use before bed. And in turn, he says his life was changed. And I'd feel a lot better about myself. And I'd go about school and I'd, and I'd be picking up information much better than I would have, you know, being tired. When it comes to young people, new research shows teens who used screens to communicate or play video games in the hour before bed took 30 minutes longer to fall asleep. And for people of all ages, over time, bad sleep can mean bad health. When you have chronically poor sleep, it's linked to an increased risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease. So doctors say 30 minutes to an hour before bed. Put down the devices and find a nighttime routine without the screen.